This is the hardest defense to score against in Madden 23. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. It's lights out against the pass. I gets tons of takeaways all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, run away, run away. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be using my Buffalo Bills offense and Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebooks, but I plan on moving on to some brand new playbooks for future videos. So let me know in the comments section what playbooks you'd like to see me use next, as the Steelers and the Chiefs are on the top of my list right now, but your comments could change that. Before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content Woo! and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section, as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all I have to do is click the links in the description or the top hand comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. Today, I'm playing against one of the biggest Jack asses I've ever played against and of course he was almost a top 100 player. He starts out by using the Bucks which because of Tom Brady and all of his abilities makes his team one of the most overpowered teams in the game. He also starts the game with an onside kick which is nothing new as a lot of people do this only he hits it perfect and actually gets it. On defense, I start the game out with my cover two man defense, but this is not the defense that this video is about, as he hits me with some crossing routes from the gun cluster formation, which is a formation that is only found in the Cardinals playbook, which means this tryhard is using a custom playbook, which I figure out a little later based off of some of the other formations he was using. If you use custom playbooks, that's cool, but most competitive Madden players agree that this is a huge advantage since you can load it up with every single money play offense in the game. Once inside the red zone though, I start making some new adjustments for the crossers by putting the safeties in the hard flats I set to five yards which is the defense that I already put out in a previous video so if you guys want to see more about this defense I will have links in the description as well as an on-screen popper at the end of the video so stick around for that he tries an aggressive catch in the end zone another bum move no now before he tries to do it again only this time it gets tipped around enough until we come down with it with an interception and even though we didn't get the ball first from that onside kick, we were the first to score. F you! He goes right back to that same offense with the same crossing routes on the next drive before he gets a BS penalty. What? And scores on that exact same crossing route to tie it up on the next play. Damn it! To recap, he's only run that one play the entire game so far. That's terrible. He tries that onside kick again, but I'm all over it this time. How about new? Back on offense, I decide I want to run the ball and play a little bit more safe. So I switch over to my pistol open flex offense. And the second he sees the formation and the motion, he starts to flip out on the microphone. Oh, now you want to be glitchy. <laughs> now you want to be glitchy, huh? So since I see that he is so focused on the motion wide receiver, I just keep running the ball. As he keeps crying about me glitching. He's full of glitch for this. Even though all I'm doing is running the ball against a weak cover two zone. Before I punch it in on the ground to take the lead. But remember, this man that said that he is against glitchy RPO plays, even though I never used one once. He keeps saying that he has something from my cover two man setup, and he should considering he has every play in the game in his custom playbook. As he now comes down to gun empty Y stack formation, which is not in the Cardinals playbook at all. And stack formations are very glitchy against man coverage. He makes a motion to create a double stack look on both sides. And I have to be honest, I wanted to stay in this look to prove him wrong, but he clearly had a good play for this. He calls my defense weak and trash, but I already have two interceptions and a touchdown against him with it, so. Switch it up. You gonna switch it up? Now Brady. You gonna switch it up? I try a bunch of different adjustments like manning the safety to double the receiver, but I clearly can't figure this offense out quickly enough before he scores. Damn it! Back on offense, he starts to think that he's calling out my plays before I run them, but I would have had a touchdown if this ball wasn't overthrown. That was a close one. Listen to Matt and Matt's side of the team. On the next play, I try it again, only this time he followed the route. Yep. Yep. On defense, I try to double man coverage again before he hits another big play and scores on the next play on a simple zig route. And now he was right. I'm going to have to find a new defense. 
On offense, since he is running cover two and dropping everyone back, I decide to run the ball to take advantage since he is clearly covering deep. He thinks that he can run his mouth and force me to make dumb decisions, but I'm going to play smart and maximize the weakness of his defense. Once in the red zone, I try to pass more to save time, but I can't get nothing and I have to take a field goal, which I missed due to an icing penalty. I only leave him 8 seconds on the clock, so I run a cover 4 as a way of kind of running a prevent, but he still completes a big play to get to the 21 with 2 seconds left. And it was at this point that I decided to try a brand new defense that this video is about in the cover 3 lock which I will use a lot like a cover two man, only this time with three deep zones instead of two. I didn't really do much of a setup on the first play, but on the very first time using this defense, gotcha, bitch. He keeps calling me trash, but what does that make you if the game is tied? The reason I chose this defense is because I can use all these hook curls as man defenders since hook curls don't do much anyway and I will still have a cover through shell around it. On the next play everything is locked up until I send the nearest defender leaving his tight end wide open over the middle of the field. Yeah. He completes the next pass and thinks he has my defense figured out before everything is shut down again and he can't even get the one yard he needs. The hardest part of this defense is getting the man defenders assigned before he snaps the ball as he doesn't always give me enough time to do this as he picks up another first down the next play. Once it's out of field Go range though the pressure gets home on the next play oh, come on. forcing him to throw it away from inside the pocket and getting a grounding penalty to push him back to second and 24 and he is now getting quiet before throwing it away on the next play he thinks he has it figured out on the next play but he gets nothing again on, before he decides to go for it on fourth and 24 Got he. only throw his fourth interception of the game and third to andre cisco alone Back on offense, I go back to the same pistol open flex formation he swore I was glitching from, only now he knows that I'm going to use it to run. A strange admission, but trust me, it's important. I switch back to my normal offense and hit the running back for the first down. I want to run the ball, but I season a cover four variant, so I run with the quarterback instead to get to the fourth quarter before dialing up that same one play touchdown that he was calling out earlier. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> to finally shut him up with the entire fourth quarter to play. And now he starts to use a new glitch route in the wheel route that gets open under cover three deep zones, which is honestly something that I put out several years ago, so I really can't be mad about it. But he's gonna use this glitch most of the drive. He also hasn't run all game and said I was playing like a bitch when I ran, but now that he wants to kill clock, it's okay. Before going back to that wheel route, as he is clearly trying to kill time to score and leave me with no time to get the ball back. He is also very quiet this entire drive, as he is down a touchdown against someone he's been calling a bum and trash all game. He keeps hitting that glitchy wheel route, so I start to man the receiver to stop it, but the running back and the drag route are still open, and now he is running the clock to zero, as he used the entire game clock on this drive. On the next play, he runs the ball down to the one before running it again, Nope. and getting stuffed for a loss with only 10 seconds left have to use his last timeout. So now with the game on the line and no timeouts and needing one play to tie the game, what does he call from his custom playbook? The unstoppable RPO Reef flat wheel. What a pussy. Remember when he freaked out because he thought I was going to use an RPO play that I never even used? Oh, now you won't be glitchy. <laughs> now you won't be glitchy. Yeah, exactly. If you don't know about RPO plays, they are literally banned in tournaments because they are unstoppable. And now he is going to go for two. And guess what play he's using again? You guessed it, that exact same unstoppable RPO reflat wheel play. Loser. As the tight end gets wide open like it always does, I got on the mic to call him out as he clearly ain't about nothing. After doing all that talking about how I'm trash, when he thought I was going to glitch and I can't play regular, but none of that matter when he wants to win. The mic cuts off once again when I plugged it in and I still don't know why it does that. He didn't have shit to say anyway because he knew that I was right. All he said was that he played like me, which is bullshit because like I said, I never used an RPO play, never glitched once. In fact, I never did half the dumb shit he did. I never did an onside kick, I never used any glitch routes, I never used any RPO plays, I didn't run clock like 
rookie did. I didn't use a loaded custom playbook. And I didn't even use an OP team with a quarterback that has all these abilities. And he still had to use an unstoppable glitch play to win by only one point. I wanted to win to shut this loser up for you guys, but even though I lost, I still thought it was a good video for two reasons. Number one, to show you guys top 100 players are just tryhards and glitchers that aren't really that good. And number two, he really didn't do anything against his defense after I switched over before the start of the second half as he scored 21 points against my cover two defense and only one touchdown against his defense that he literally had to cheat to get. So give this defense a try. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think because it did shut down a top player even though he was a complete dirt ball. Other than that, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more about the offenses and defense that I was using in today's video, I will have links on the screen popping up. So just click the links and check them out as I'm sure it helps your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.